right, in this video, we're going over the new top seven best guns to use here in Modern Warfare 3 after the recent update. With season two about to be wrapped up in season three on the horizon, it's very important you guys are rocking the best setup possible to secure your first MTB nuke before the end of the season. So with all that being said, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and those post notifications. Let me know down in the comment section right now. What is your current KD ratio and how many nukes, if any, you guys have? I can guarantee after this video, some of you guys are beginning your first nukes. All right, so for the first class, we're taking a look at the MCW, but we are going to be mixing it up a bit. We are going to be running the conversion kit. Now, after all of the MCW nerfs, I have found out that this weapon is a lot better with the Jack Raven kit because we are going to be increasing our fire rate, mobility and handling, damage at close range, as well as hip fire and attack stance spread. This is going to be a mid-range monster. There are some better long-range weapons, which I do have in this video. Now, what we are also going to be doing with this setup is I recommend running a muzzle on this build. Now, for this specific loadout, I recommend rocking the compensated flash time. This is going to be a great attachment, specifically on the MCW, bumping up our vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control, firing aiming stability, which is huge, as well as taking us off the radar for a short period of time. It's going to work kind of like a muzzle break as well as a suppressor, and that is a massive W. Now, because we are running the conversion kit, we are going to run a barrel to compensate for that range drop off. In the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel is going to be perfect here, increasing that bullet velocity and range aim out of sway and more firing aiming stability in order to make sure we are dominating at those medium ranges you are gonna love the mcw with the conversion kit coupled with this barrel now we are gonna be rocking an optic on the setup as well and the jack glassless is phenomenal i understand they did bring in the og red dot sight from cod 4 but this is seriously so much better because not only are we getting a clean optic picture we are bumping up our firing aiming stability and removing a lot of that visual recoil which is what a lot of players need when trying to win those long range engagements you have to remember there really wasn't that much visual recoil back in cod 4 here in model for three and well there's quite a bit of it especially if you try to use some of the model for two weapons and then finally for the stock we are going to be rocking the rb regal heavy stock again another great attachment to bump up more recoil control gun kit control as well as tax stand spread which went ahead and bumped up with the conversion kit once you jump into the firing range you're going to see this class setup is rock solid because not only do we have a respectable ads but we also are going to have a setup that's going to have very controllable recoil you're going to find that all my class setups are built around just controllability and making sure you're out at any and all ranges especially those longer ranges and that's where a lot of people are going to be falling short here in multiplayer for the secondary i rock the core 45 on every single class setup it is the best secondary in the game especially if we go ahead and rock the conversion kit which is gonna be transforming this pistol pistol into a submachine gun bumping up that fire rate range and overall handling at longer ranges now we are gonna rock the 40 round drum with this class setup as well because the fire rate has been significantly increased we have on the sl skeletal vertical grip on this build we have the colossus suppressor xs version for more recoil control very important as well as the xrk that never in stock courtesy of the conversion kit overall a great attachment here with this pistol smg when you jump in the firing range with this you're going to be amazed because this is borderline a submachine gun and you can honestly go ahead and rock this as a primary if you run into ammo or if you just want to go ahead and do it so definitely do not feel the need to drop this for something else you pick up off the ground men in the build we have on the munitions box quick grip gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset as well as ghost tv camo on this build because it is going to be a more mid-range setup having quick grip gloves to go ahead and swap between your primary and secondary is going to be quite nice but if you are trying to go on those longer gun streaks and you actually want to go ahead and make sure you never run out of ammo feel free to swap quick grip gloves out for scavenger gloves they're going to be a great substitute and also do not forget to rock the comms vest this is so important on any and all class setup because you are going to be getting essentially a 24 7 uav 
every time you kill somebody and run over their body they're dropping a radar beacon letting you know where everybody is at because the spawns are so terrible here multiplayer this keeps you alive and this is going to be the reason you're getting your first new definitely go ahead and give the mcw a try with the conversion kit you are not going to be disappointed i can guarantee you this is a mid-range monster now for class setup number two we're taking a look at the holger 556 this is going to be the long range meta ar here in modern warfare 3 right now i personally enjoy this a lot more over the mcw and with this class setup i think a lot of you will as well now we are going to rock a muzzle and the t51r ability break is phenomenal here bumping up vertical recoil control firing aiming stability as well as gun kick control we are not going to suppress the holger 556 because we are going to be taking people out at longer ranges and this is going to be a zero recoil build you can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing now we are going to rock an under barrel on this setup and i highly recommend rocking the bruin heavy support grip this is going to be overall smoothing out the recoil pattern on this build allowing us to have increased gun kick control aim out of sway controllability horizontal recoil and firing aiming stability we are going to be destroying any and all players with this class setup and i think a lot of you guys are going to be dropping your first nukes or at the very least a high kd gameplay now we are going to rock ammo on this setup now i like to go ahead and rock the high grain rounds just to go ahead and give this weapon a little bit extra kick at those longer ranges with that increased bullet velocity as well as damage range now we are going to rock an optic on this setup as well and i do recommend running the jack glassless optic on this class setup just so we have a clean optic picture and go ahead and take advantage of that firing aim stability and less visual recoil the jack glasses is going to be one of the best attachments to run under the optic category so if you guys are struggling with a weapon with iron sights definitely go ahead and give this a try and then finally we are going to run a rear grip attachment here and the morn 20 is going to be phenomenal not only going helping us out at longer ranges but we do have increased flinch resistance which if we are going to be getting in those close medium range gunfights we are going to be able to stay on target and outgun players and obviously we have that increased recoil as well as gun kick control here now once you jump into the firing range you're going to see this setup is not going to move it is going to have zero recoil it is, it, it's stupid how good this holder setup is definitely go ahead and give this a try if you're trying to delete people across the map with a very solid assault rifle that you cannot go wrong with for the men in the build we are going to be rocking again the core 45 the same exact attachments as the mcw setup and we do have munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset ghost tv camo as well as the comms vest you guys are going to love the holger 556 this is the replacement to the mcw if you're looking for a more long range rifle that can just get the job done every single time now for class setup number three we are getting busy with the bp50 a misunderstood weapon here at modern for three so people love it some people hate it i got a class setup that'll make you fall in love with this aggressive ar now we are starting off with the muzzle and you do have two choices here you can either rock the vt7 spirit fire suppressor which i do recommend or if you need some more recoil control definitely go ahead and rock the compensated flash hider both of these are going to be great attachments on this assault rifle but i'd rather go ahead and stay off the radar 24 7 and also reap the rewards of more recoil control bullet velocity and damage range overall a great attachment on this ar now we are going to rock an under barrel for this setup and i do recommend running the bruin heavy support grip on this weapon also to smooth out that recoil pattern giving us a very easy to use bp50 setup that's going to be a point and shoot laser we're taking advantage of gun kick aim out of sway controllability horizontal recoil and more firing aiming stability you are going to absolutely love the setup with this attachment we are going to run a magazine on this build and i recommend running the 45 round mag this is going to be a very aggressive ar that you guys can still use at those medium longer ranges but because the fire rate is moderate this is going to be a nice attack just to make sure that we are not running out of ammo and getting killed trying to reload now what we also are going to be doing with the setup is i recommend running a stock now the moat 40 is going to be a great choice going ahead and drastically increasing that gun kick control recoil control 
and walking speed which you definitely need on a mid-range and also aggressive style setup as well as aim down sight speed everything we need to go ahead and just enhance this weapon the mort 40 is gonna have us locked in and then finally we are gonna be rocking an optic on the setup as well and none other than the jack glasses here just to go ahead and give us a very easy optic picture and make everything a lot easier to go ahead and handle once you jump in the firing range, you're going to see that we have a setup that is going to have a respectable ADS here. And obviously, it's going to be a very, very, very low recoil build that you guys are going to enjoy to use at any and all ranges, close, medium, as well as long range. Now, if you guys actually do not mind the iron sight, feel free to go ahead and remove the optic. And I would go ahead and rock a barrel on the setup as well. Now, the lower 9 heavy is going to be a good option that you can swap out that optic for. This is overall going to extend that damage range a little bit more and also give us additional recoil control if you would need it. But you are going to slow down your ADS a little bit. But at the same time, you're going to see here that this is seriously going to be a straight laser. So you can go ahead and interchange these attachments depending on what class setup is suited best for your play style now again we are rocking the core 45 same exact attachments and we are running munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset ghost tv camo and the good old comms vest definitely do not sleep on the bp50 both of these class setups are rock solid and i think a lot of you guys are going to be enjoying the red dot optic one a little bit more because it is going to be more universal very easy to use at close range medium range you guys guessed it longer ranges now for class setup number four we are taking a look at the striker this is a very underrated submachine gun that a lot of people are not running so for the muzzle we are gonna rock the shadow strike suppressor s which is gonna be a good option taking us off the radar and allowing us to get on their spawn and build up a quick and easy streak we are skipping the barrels on this class setup we're gonna jump right over to the under barrel and I recommend running the F-Tech MSP-98 hand stop. I understand some people do not have this unlocked. Get it unlocked immediately. This is going to be a great attachment on a lot of the submachine guns. Bumping up that aim walking speed, vertical recoil, gun kick control, as well as movement speed. Kind of a two-for-one deal here. We have that medium as well as long range locked in. Now, we are going to run a magazine, and I do recommend running the 48-round mag on the Striker. Overall, a solid attachment, allowing us to not worry about running out of ammo if you run into more than two people at the same time, which does happen quite often because the spawns are so bad. Now, we are going to be rocking a stock on the setup, and I do recommend running the Lockman Recon Series stock. This is going to be a good attachment here, going ahead and bumping up that mid-range performance, with that gun kick control recoil control as well as a metal sway overall a great attachment to rock the only negative negative is we cannot run a rear grip with this setup now for the final attachment we are going to run an optic you guys know the drill man we are going to rock that jack glasses i love this on all of my weapons here just giving us a clean optic picture and overall helping out with that recoil control once you jump in the firing range you're going to see that this is going to be a nasty build very very respectable ads and like all my setups you're going to see this thing does not move man all of my builds especially the submachine gun builds are going to be built around controllability and making sure you take it out at any and all ranges now main the setup we are going to go ahead and rock you guys know the core 45 same exact attachments we have on the munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset ghost tv camo as well as the comms vest to go ahead and keep us in the pocket letting us know where people are at overall a great class you guys cannot go wrong the striker is a very underrated submachine gun i know the wsp swarm is nasty but definitely do not sleep on this gun here in model for three now for class set number five we're taking a look at the wsp swarm i was just talking about this weapon it's actually just it's dumb they keep buffing it so we're gonna keep using it for the muzzle we are gonna rock the t51r billeted break s y'all are gonna be going nuts with this attachment on the submachine gun. we have a build that is literally not going to move taking advantage of vertical recoil and firing aiming stability now we are going to run a barrel on the wsp swarm and the wsp reckless 90 lawn barrel is phenomenal drastically improving that recoil control gun kick control aim idle sway and bullet velocity and range overall maximizing that mid and long range potential and yes you can map people with this submachine gun you should not be able to but they keep buffing it so we're going to keep abusing it now we are going to run an underbarrel on this build now 
you guys can rock one or two attachments here depending on again your play style if you want max recoil control definitely feel free to rock the bruin heavy support grip to smooth out that recoil pattern giving us increased gun kick control aim out of sway control ability horizontal recoil and firing aiming stability but if you do want to go ahead and have a more run and gun oriented setup i recommend running not the ftac msp 98 hand stop on the wsp swarm but the x10 phantom 5 hand stop allowing us to have that increased aim down sight speed to fire speed and vertical recoil and gun kick control with this very easy to use submachine gun now we are going to be running a magazine on this build and i recommend running the 100 round drum here we're taking full advantage of all 100 rounds here so we can go ahead and lay waste to anybody and everybody that comes our way and then finally we are going to be running a stock on this setup and i recommend running the fss fortress heavy stock just take advantage of more gun kick recoil firing aim stability as well as tax stand spread so we can maximize this weapon performance at longer ranges once you jump into the firing range you're going to see here that this setup doesn't make any sense because we have a respectable ads and it literally is going to be incredibly controllable now the only negative about this class setup is we do have some muzzle flash here that you are gonna have to go ahead and get used to but there is another attack that you guys can rock to go ahead and mitigate a lot of this but what you want to do is go over to the muzzle category and it's gonna be attachment kind of toward the end here it's gonna be called the l4 uh, r flash hider it's also a great attachment you're not gonna have as much recoil control with it but if you are looking for something that's gonna allow you to reduce a lot of that muzzle flash you're going to see here this is going to be going ahead and making this a little bit easier to use at extreme long range you guys can see like it is going to be a little bit easier at those really really long ranges but that t51r built in is going to be making it a little bit more controllable at those mid-range use whatever is more just suited for your own play style for the remainder of the build we are going to be rocking the core 45 you guys know with these same attachments all my other setups and we do have our munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset as well as ghost to keep us off the radar and obviously that good old comms vest the wsp swarm is nasty one of the best guns in the entire game that you guys cannot go wrong with you guys are going to be destroying everybody and laying waste to every single person that comes away with this glass setup now for class setup number six we're taking a look at the hrm9 definitely a fantastic run and gun smg this is very solid in warzone and it's definitely valid in multiplayer as well for the muzzle we are going to be suppressing this weapon in the shadow strike suppressor s is going to be a great option taking us off the radar so we can get behind the enemy team and build up a very quick and easy streak now we are going to be running a barrel on this build and for the running gun setup no we are not going to be rocking the princeps long barrel which essentially transforms this into the growl 5.56 we are going to rock that thorn 90 which is going to be drastically bumping up that close range performance with that increased sprint speed sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and hip fire and tack stand spread allowing us to demolish enemies at those close to medium ranges now we are going to run an under barrel in warzone you can rock the xrk edge bw4 hand stop but a multiplayer we're not going to go ahead and run that we are going to rock the x10 phantom 5 hand stop instead because we definitely need to take advantage of more gun kick and vertical recoil and also reap the rewards of having faster aim down sight as well as sprint to fire speed just a great attachment that's going to be helping us out at any and all ranges it makes this weapon is kicking ass at close range because that's exactly what this build is designed to do we are going to rock a magazine and the 50 round drum is going to be phenomenal on the hrm9 allowing us to lay waste to as many people as possible until we have to reload and then finally we are going to be running a rear grip on this setup and i do recommend running the pcs90 assault grip to bump up more gun kick control as well as recoil control here overall a great attachment on the hrm9 making sure we can go ahead and wipe out anybody we come across once you jump in the firing range you're gonna see this is gonna be strictly kind of a close to medium range setup if you want to go out at longer range you're gonna have to go ahead and burst fire this weapon but it is gonna become controllable after you go ahead and continuously fire which does come in handy at closer ranges but keep that in mind this is gonna be a more run and gun oriented setup 
Now for the secondary, you guys know the drill. We are gonna be rocking the Core 45 with the same exact attachments. And we do have on Munitions Box, Scavenger Gloves, Covert Sneakers, Bone Conduction Headset, as well as Ghost with the comms vest here. Overall, a fantastic loadout. The HRM9 is gonna be a great submachine gun to run and gun with and dominate. And finally, for class setup number seven, we are gonna be rocking the SVA 545. You guys know I could not leave this bad boy out. For the muzzle, we are running loud and proud with this build, and we are gonna rock the T51R ability to break to go ahead and drastically improve that vertical as well as gun kick and firing aiming stability. This is gonna be a zero recoil setup for the barrel we are going to rock the stv precision barrel this is godly on this ar drastically improving that recoil control gun kick control both velocity and range and more aim idle sway controllability if you want to outgun a lot of the other ars have this on your setup we are going to run an under barrel and the brewing heavy support grip is going to be a great option going ahead and smoothing out that recoil pattern with that increased gun kick aim out of sway controllability horizontal recoil as well as firing aiming stability benefit overall a great attachment on the sva 545 we are going to run an optic on this setup and the jack glasses is going to be phenomenal giving us that clean optic picture as well as reducing that visual recoil and bumping up firing aiming stability and then finally we are going to run a stock on this build and do not sleep on the main v6 drastically improving that recoil control as well as gun kick control once you jump in the firing range you guys are going to be laughing because this build has a quick ads they did buff this assault rifle and it, it doesn't move it, it literally doesn't move this is phenomenal one of my favorite guns in the entire game the secondary you guys know the drill we have on the core 45 and we are going to rock munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset ghost tv camo as well as the comms vest which is gonna be giving us a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody remember the body to drop in a radar beacon let you know where enemies are at in your general vicinity this is gonna be a disgusting setup do not sleep on the sva 545 now these are gonna be the top seven best guns now if they're gonna be two sets want you guys to check out right now do not sleep on this mcw setup with the conversion kit you guys are going to be loving this build overall a great competitor at medium ranges and also guys i'm telling you this right now don't sleep on the striker the striker is very very underrated i think a lot of you guys will enjoy it and overall drop your first nuke with the setup i don't know what's going on with the firing range here in the class setup screen sometimes things don't load up they got some serious problems here in mono for three but that is not going to stop us from dropping those nukes so if you guys enjoy feel free drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel to those post notifications I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.